Good morning, everybody. And uh, welcome to our first kind of port day today. I did not sleep at all last night, which has nothing to do with the ship. Um, I think it's just jet lag and traveling and all that stuff. I basically have been up since 1230. Um, it is now uh, almost 730, so no sleep last night whatsoever. Um, so I actually kind of hung out this morning in the lounge area and did some work. But I'm going to head downstairs to breakfast. Taylor's still getting ready. Um, and uh, let's see what they've got. So as you guys can see, they do have a pretty decent selection here for breakfast. The omelet station is over there. Um, I went with just the regular scrambled eggs. Um, and then we've got meats and peppers and all kinds of stuff. And this stuff does change daily. So what is here might not be there tomorrow. The bacon is always there. Um, and it's usually extra crispy, just so you know. Uh, they also have oatmeal, breads. Um, we've got fresh squeezed juices right there. They have meats and cheeses, fruits. So just about everything and anything that you could possibly want coming from uh, the American diet. It's funny that Taylor always makes fun of me because I fill my plate up like I will probably never make it back up to the buffet, but I am starving. I've been up since like 1230, like I said, last time I ate was at like seven. So we just had breakfast in the main dining room and it was a very good selection. I'm still like waking up right now. Josh Major rushed me this morning to get ready because he's been up like all night. Um, but yes, a really nice selection of breakfast. Uh, there were some cold items, some pastries, a bunch of hot items. You could get um, scrambled eggs that were already made and then you could get eggs made to order, omelets, whatever you like. Um, everything was really good. They had some juices up there too. And whew, I'm ready to get some coffee now. So something that we did not talk about yesterday, um, but we're gonna talk about today because it's obviously our first full day and uh, we've got an excursion. So what's cool is, um, or maybe not, I don't know yet, we haven't tried them yet, but for all of our guided tours, um, it's really nice that they provide you with hearing devices so that you don't have to like struggle to hear what they're saying um, and things like that. And, and you don't have to worry about bringing your own. So um, they have provided us these things that are called QV8 receivers and uh, these uh, it's like making noise right now I don't really know how to use it but what's kind of cool is that they provide you with a guide that shows you what to do and uh, this little card thing so I think we need to keep these with us maybe I'm not sure um, we're gonna figure it out but on top of that this is just like the receiver basically it does have a speaker um, but it's just it's really like mainly the receiver and then we've got these things and these are like the little earpieces uh, that we're going to wear. So if you've ever done like a, a tour before that has a tour guide with a hearing piece, basically that's what, you know, it's just like a little thing, it's gonna go in. And uh, that way we can hear what's going on at all times. So uh, pretty nice, we're gonna, I think this is like a little bit of a big thing to be carrying around, but um, you know, nonetheless, the buses are here and uh, I think it's about time for us to go do the tour, so. Yeah, let's figure this whole thing out and we're gonna go. Morning. I'm gonna grab a bottle of water. Oh, there's a big drop right there. Almost just fell. Okay, so we are making our way to the buses and the buses are down here for us. It's open seating, so Taylor's gonna pick where we sit. The bus ride took us about 30 to 40 minutes to get to Freiburg, Germany. And as we approached, our tour guide uh, was on the bus with us and really kind of started to give us some details about Freiburg and the Black Forest region in general. Our first stop on the walking tour was right outside of the cathedral. Um, and this area here was just uh, kind of open because it's early in the morning. There's not a lot of people out doing shopping yet. Yeah. My mic, I don't know if my mic can hear me because I'm so cold, but we got to try some sausages from the little local butcher. I gotta get my hands in these pockets. What? I gotta get my hands in my pockets. I don't know how you have your neck exposed. I'm freaking frozen. You guys, I'm freezing. Don't dress for fashion, dress for warmth. You think you got enough warm clothes? Pack more. <laughs> now that we finished our meats uh, here from uh, the, the local butcher, basically, uh, 
It is uh, time to really begin our official tour of Freiburg, and this is a walking tour. Um, it wasn't very strenuous, so don't feel like you need to be uh, in tip-top shape or anything like that. Um, you know, it was very, very easy going. And the tour was very interesting, focused on history and culture of Freiburg, uh, especially during World War II, which it was impacted um, in some bombing raids. Uh, it's worth knowing that you are not required to attend this tour or any tour that is actually uh, put on by Emerald. It is really up to you. If you choose not to, I think maybe you're not getting your full money's worth of your cruise. But um, just make sure that you find out where exactly you're supposed to be meeting up later to catch the bus back to the ship. Um, because obviously that's pretty important. And if you miss that, you're going to have to be paying uh, to get yourself uh, back more than likely to the ship on your own. Now, once our tour ended, uh, which was around, I want to say, about 11 o'clock or so, uh, maybe 11.30, it was time for us to have some free time to explore the city and the Christmas markets on our own. All right, so we are about to go check out the Christmas markets, and uh, part of that is that you need to have moolah, cash, the, the real stuff, okay? They don't really take cards and things like that. So, so I thought, I'll just use my debit card at an ATM, Keep in mind and know what your debit card limits are because I tried to do it three times over the limit. Um, and I thought, oh my God, it's gonna eat my card. So long story short, we got the cash. So let's go check out the markets and maybe buy something. I don't know, we'll see and uh, have some fun. To get started with our first Christmas market on this cruise, we decided it was probably best to really kind of scope out the area and walk around the entire market first before we actually purchased anything whatsoever, including uh, souvenirs, food, and even some glue vine. Or we can like walk to them and then walk back through again. Let's walk Maybe down Maybe do and that come back. and then walk back. The way we can see everything. Yeah, I just want one of the cups. Because they're kind of, oh, looks like they're right all a little too. bit different. Oh, these ones are the blue ones. Okay, that's what these people had. The village. Huh? Oh, no, they're candle houses. What? Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's cool. That is. It's really tempting to like run in and kind of have that feeling of, oh, I need to get this and that uh, as soon as you see it. But pricing isn't really all the same uh, across all of the booths. Uh, glue vine may cost more here than it does over there. And the same goes for food and souvenirs. And here at the markets, you'll find a lot of similar items and sellers throughout the region. Uh, and the reason I say this is because what you see here, you will probably find at another market further up the river or down the river. Um, so don't feel like you nest, like don't feel like you have to buy everything here at your first stop or wherever your first stop is, because more than likely you will see it at another Christmas market later on, and you will see that in our later videos. Hello. <laughs> What? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what. Probably just to uh, like the original. Hello. Um, I don't know what to get. Whatever is the like original. Red or the white? Green vine? Red vine? White? White? Yeah. Nice. I don't have a very good German accent, uh, so this is some mulled wine, and I got it white. They have different types of wine that you can get, and it's basically hot wine. Uh, <laughs> it's pronounced glufein. It's very hot though right now. But it is very good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give uh, this uh, glufein. Uh, this is the Weiss. Weiss Glue Vine, which is the white. Oh, is that what she said? Well, yeah, she said red or white, but it's Rot Oder Weiss. It's good. Um, so, what's interesting about this uh, whole place and at many of these Christmas markets is that they actually charge you extra for the glass. And so when you're finished, if you are done with your glass, you're not gonna get another one. Um, what you do is you take it back to the counter and they will actually give you your money back um, for the glass. So it actually just kind of helps to like offset the cost of you, know, you keeping the glass and um, eliminating the need to use disposable plastics or 
styrofoam, things like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, and of course, again, it's a little souvenir that only costs a couple of euros. Um, and what's cool is that this one actually says uh, Freiburger on it. So this uh, is specific to this market here in the city. And essentially everyone that we go to will probably have a glass that's uh, specific to that and we can get one there. So kind of cool. So something that I've noticed so far, uh, two things. Taylor loves the Christmas market. <laughs> First of all, Taylor is easy to get pulled into all of the things. Yes, I am. If it's food and beverage, like I'm there. <laughs> oh, what's that? Moonshine. Oh my. Wow. You want to try some? Samples. You want to try some? I don't want to. I do. Yes. yes. Okay. And we have different flavors. This is liquor. Okay. And we have macadamia. This is apple with almond. Okay. Then we have toffee. It's uh, caramel. Okay. And uh, hazelnut or white. Uh, uh, like um, maybe the the apple. Yeah. I'm trying some basically moonshine. Thank you. Oh, it smells good. McDonald's moonshine. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> she just she just goes right into it. And um, number two is when it comes to the a glue vine glasses, which Taylor's about to spill on her hand. Oh, yeah, I am um, actually. I, sp I did spill it on my hand. You actually should kind of walk around first and see all the different glasses because yeah. different spots have different designs. And, and they also they have still, some different kinds too. Right, but and, the, and they still say like the city on it, but mm -hmm. um, you know, you might like one over the other or collect them all, so to speak. So, kind of cool. Something you should know about the Christmas markets and uh, you know, when you stop into a city, they might say, here is the Christmas market uh, in Freiburg. But in reality, Freiburg itself is made up of several different Christmas markets spread out throughout the city. And um, they're all like pretty close in walking distance, but it's worth noting that um, sometimes you may have to really kind of venture out a little bit to see some of these other markets. And some of the markets do have things that are more unique than others that you might not find, um, uh, you know, where you might start at closer to the city center. So, uh, you know, take your time and uh, get a map. Uh, Emerald provides maps for us. Uh, there are also like little, basically Christmas market maps that are specifically made uh, in Freiburg. Huh? And sometimes you can get them at the guest information uh, center, that, which is there, you know, there's usually a booth that's located in the market for that. So um, we kind of ventured out, we ventured out a little far, looked at a little much a smaller market. Um, we didn't buy anything, but it was still kind of cool just, you know, to venture out a little bit and see something different. So uh, after that, we started making our way back to the bus and to uh, head back to the ship freezing a little on top. All right, so after our tour today in Freiburg, we came back and uh, I took a little nap because I have not slept at all last night. Taylor got some food and now I'm hungry. She might not be hungry. Well, technically our port is Breisach and we took a bus ride to Freiburg. Yeah, so <laughs> what we're doing now is walking up in to, uh, to Breisach to really kind of explore, see some of the Christmas markets and see some of the other stuff here in mm -hmm. the town. Uh, must be those steps right there she's talking about. Oh, it looks like we've got a wee bit of a hike. Yeah, we do. What's great when cruising with Emerald is they provide you with some easy to read maps of the city that you're visiting. And here in Brysock, we grabbed a map and started touring a little bit uh, with the main goal to see the markets here. And the maps usually will tell you, you know, where there is a cash machine, points of interest, bathrooms, and most of the time the Christmas market locations. But Unfortunately, this map did not have the Christmas markets on it, and uh, we kind of overlooked that as we started our way uh, and uh, aimlessly walking, basically. No, that's what we were trying to figure out. Yeah. He tried Google searching to see like if there was anything. In... There's an ice cream down there. 
down there. Like way down there? Yeah. Oh, the very bottom of the... Yeah, it was a hike to get up here in the first place. But you I have to come back I up. If, you no, 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 I don't think you do. You can just go around. Maybe? I mean, I suppose you probably could. Probably. Huh? We found the Christmas markets after a hike. Taylor was getting a little crabby there because we were just kind of walking all over the place. Aimlessly. So, um, I think they're right here. It's very, very small and kind of quaint. And uh, the city here is much smaller than what you might expect. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what you would expect. I don't know what to expect, but um, it's a lot smaller than uh, Freiburg, right? Which is where mm -hmm. we were this morning. So, they've got some ice skating. Let's go check it out. Oh my gosh, is that what that is? Oh no, it's the, huh? it's the plastic. Oh. Well, uh, I'm gonna get something to eat because I'm hungry and I haven't eaten in a while. So we're gonna see what we've got here and then maybe get some uh, blue vine from over here. Well, I've made it past uh, the first language barrier. <laughs> it was minimal. It was minimal, yes. Um, and uh, now I've got this sandwich. Uh, I got some onions on it, and I'm trying to get my glove back on. I don't know why, because I'm gonna go over here and get a drink. So let's go get a drink before I try this, because I don't want to get like, you know, start chewing it, and then I don't, can't swallow it, because I need something to wash it down, so. It's a lot of bread. Enjoy <laughs> <laughs> it uh so they're trying to figure out the lights i think and uh but gonna go in for the uh, um i love the the bird that they serve it on and um and then uh, the, the bratwurst itself and has like a little bit like almost sweetness to it, I think. And that might also be coming from the onions, but um, it's it's really, really good. At least I think so. It might be just because I haven't eaten all day of that. Um, so earlier today, when we were in uh, Freiburg, Taylor had gotten the uh, white blue wine or the blue vine vice. And um, so I decided to get the same thing. Now, uh, they don't have like special design glasses, so we will return ours and get our two euros back. I think it's two euros, I'm pretty sure. It's, it's hot. hot. They, uh, it's funny because like, obviously all their stuff um, is powered by electricity, so lights kept flashing out and they couldn't pour this out of the uh, keg machines, dispensers. Yeah. It's good though. I never would have imagined that I would really enjoy um, a mulled wine, uh, especially with it being, well, maybe I would enjoy the white more. I haven't tried red yet. I think maybe tomorrow we'll try that. I think tomorrow we should each get one of these. Yeah, try something try a little bit different. But um, <clears throat> this food's really good. And uh, I'm really excited for everything else that we have to look forward to. Today has been a little bit of like a rough day for me specifically because I didn't me. sleep last night. I had a great day. Um, it was freezing <laughs> this morning and then we just have been aimlessly walking around trying to figure out where this uh, little market was at. So, but uh, I'm excited though. And um, good food, good drinks. The company is okay sometimes. How much I All right, so just finished my drink. Uh, here, they give you a little like plastic coin basically. So I'll take this back with this and they'll give me my uh, my money back for my glass. Well, we have uh, finally made it, and it is, uh, dare I say, slightly magical. When that cools down a little more, I could chug it. This is Taylor. Actually, one thing that we haven't looked at yet, which I think we should definitely go check out, unfortunately, it's still daylight out, and the best way to look at this is gonna be at nighttime. You're probably not gonna get to see it, but let's walk over there anyways, and that is gonna be the Christmas tree here in Strasbourg. Mm -hmm. 